God is saying to you. When it comes to love, you have to be used to things changing. Nothing stays the same. You or the person you have been involved with is afraid of change. You would rather stay stagnant than take this chance and fall in love. Instead, they want to interact with other people, which becomes boring, but they are really just juggling the idea of being alone, being in a relationship with someone, or interacting with multiple people. They are stuck in this negative mindset that they haven't done anything about yet, they believe they can't change anything, but they just haven't tried. They feel they have to protect you even though someone doesn't want to let you go. They can't be the person you expect them to be because they don't have enough strength, discipline, or structure. They may prefer to be alone and not feel good enough. They may act reckless, but that's not who they really are. They're afraid to show their weak side. They feel it's best to let you go because they're not ready for a relationship yet and haven't even had a life together yet. They have no purpose and don't want to drag you down. If they told you one thing, it's a lie. They won't tell you the real reason why they can't be with you because they don't want you to judge them. That's why it would be better for everyone if they let you go. But they still want to be close to you. They don't want things to be completely over, but they can't be the person you want them to be unless they take the initiative to make changes in their life. And that will take a lot of healing. They avoid you because they don't feel whole or complete within themselves, because they haven't accomplished much in life and they're battling demons. This person may have let you go but it's been on their mind ever since because they don't know how you feel and they're too scared and ruminating and they know they care about you but they can't let you go. Knowing that or let's see, that's why she pushes you. This person didn't want your bond to change, they just weren't ready and didn't know how to tell you. Someone is acting recklessly but it's just a facade, she feels lonely and longs for you but she has decided to avoid you. She may be trying to understand why she is the way she is and why you have such a strong attachment to her. She has no direction and therefore lacks the effort and determination to pursue what she really wants which only sets her back, someone feels it's best to let you go. Even if you feel like there is more to the story or you haven't found closure, she will still avoid you, she can give you right now, just don't look in her face, they regret breaking up with you. But, they won't be able to break free from their addiction until they truly heal and learn to change the way they think, act and react for the better. They need the space to truly heal and understand who they are and what they really want. And they need to find the courage to pursue what they want to do, heart suit, I want, this person just needs confirmation that they are human enough and can take back their power and their life. She doesn't need to be jealous, angry, or overbearing. All she needs is some positive words to say. If people are constantly tearing them down, they need someone to build them up. They get annoyed with women because they feel like they don't see them as men. But it's because they have to take responsibility for their actions and there are consequences. You are that person's karma and are literally in that person's head. 
They never thought someone other than themselves could have this much control over them. They really trust and care about you, but they show it in a harsh way. You don't have to control everything and you have to learn to be vulnerable. They may just want to be involved with others because it is easy and they don't have to do much. If you are, they need to step in and protect and care for you, but there, just isn't ready or doesn't have your